Okay, I got my press pass on. We are at 380 Merrimack Street here in Methuen, Massachusetts for Drive Health and Fitness. It's a 24-hour health and fitness facility right here, opened by one of the members of Ghost Adventures, Nick Gruff. And we're going to be speaking to him in a minute. But in the meantime, he has amassed quite a crowd here of not just fans, but people that are interested in health and fitness and to sign up for his gym. They'll be opening shortly. It's still under construction. But we're going to chat with this guy. Come on. I'm here with Nick Groff, and as everyone knows, this guy is one of the stars of Ghost Adventures. So I hope to think. <laughs> no, hope to think he really is, and I, I, I seem to think, like, you're the cute one. I don't know. I don't know, is that true, guys? <laughs> Ghost told me that in the dark, one of my digital recorder when I'm playing it back. <laughs> the EVP. Nick has opened a business. Why don't you tell us a bit about it? And you've brought your co-partners with you as well, That's right, co-owners. Yeah. I'm super excited. So in Methuen, Massachusetts, we are opening a beautiful facility right behind me, 24-hour fitness facility called Drive Health and Fitness. Super excited. I got Tony Hazard right here. He's going to be the How GM, part owner. And then I got Dr. Vatin. Hi there. Hi. Gazarian. Hi. So he owns the doctor. The and uh, we're just excited. We're all super excited to get going. This is a great opportunity for people to come down, better their lives, better their health. It's a mm -hmm. positive thing. This motiva motivated me a year ago. I got training, and this is how this kind of all came about. Tony was training me. I, I used to be 205, and I got slimmed down. He kicked Trimmed my butt. Up. You need up. to train me, baby. Oh, there we go. He's the best <laughs> trainer. Food and I world. get along a little in bit too well. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I know. Me too. I'm on the road week after week after right. week. Right, so right. like health is such a, a big responsibility to myself to stay like fit you know I'm walking around these dark locations and mm -hmm. and week after week you have to watch your diet too that's true there's so many you get to the Midwest there's like all these food chains and you you know Wendy's and all that stuff so you want to stay yeah away but from... you know what the pulled pork <laughs> and the barbecues oh, and stuff like that on the Midwest I love those you can still eat that I love all it the barbecue you can still chicken eat that. they have them smoking right on the side of Absolutely. the road Absolutely. and they're like it's calling me I can hear my name yeah and then you eat it, you yeah. eat it, and you're like, oh, that's so good, and then you run three miles. That's it. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's my, smart. that's my mentality. <laughs> no, it's awesome. So we're super excited. 24 Hour Fitness. Yeah. Go to drivehealthandfitness.com. You can see all of our information there. Sign up now. Memberships are unbelievable. Best, right. best rates right now in the whole area. And Tony can touch on. Oh, everything. you are, you are quite a salesman here. You I'm trying. I have to. I Sounds have to. like you were on the Howie Car Show to me. I was. I was on. <laughs> yesterday so I came from a location I had two hours of rest and I went right to the Howie Carr show in Boston yeah. I did his show live and we're just trying to get the word out there the community we're right. trying to spread it this sure. is a, this is a really great thing for the community I mean what we're doing too is we're actually working out here also so I'm not just this that's face that's who's important just like, to oh, know come, yeah, just, come yeah. join the you're gym you're actually doing it too and you're living proof you I know with Tony's that. help that you're doing great yep. what gave you the idea of having it 24 hours a day instead of just setting you know just Stay time hours. It, to be honest, it's it's a community facility. So okay. police, fire, hospital. The, these are people that basically are taking care of us, and they have no access, you know, outside of the normal business hours. So I think adding this for the community was such a it's a really big deal. You know what? That's a good point because they do work these wild shifts, and they're here to protect us. So why don't we? protect their health by having a facility that's open yeah. that can give them dietary needs and, and health and coaching you know with good health and why don't you no say question. a few words on the good health? Well it's all about uh, you know combating obesity uh, it, it's, uh, it's a major epidemic and uh, and we all have to combat it at one level or the other so I think it's very important as doctors healthcare providers to do the best we can for our patients and the community as well so uh, we all are passionate about our goals uh, we all are 100% dedicated and we can't wait for the opening uh, so please sign up for Drive Health and Fitness thank you great thank you so much doctor doctor oh, I, I think I'm going to be awesome. staying there for a while we will be shocked too because we do these boot camps on Sunday oh, really? and Tony's kicking our butt and he comes out and he's sticking right there with us the whole time. Whoa. On the resistant bands hold wow. on. He's spraying. I have to keep up with him. Sometimes. You know what? I want to talk a little bit about the expertise of the people and the individuals that you hire that you help here to coach people and to mentor them into better health. Absolutely. You give us a little bit of a rundown on who's who and what's going on. I'll just say okay. for the first time I feel very positive we have the absolute best trainers 
in the area. And I put my money on that any mm -hmm. day of the week. We have the best trainers. So we are very hands-on. We are very personable. We are very family oriented. That's good. Everything That's in this good. facility is going to be clean. I'm so anal about things. So if I see a, like a piece of paper, I know on the ground, that. I'm like, no, I really know that. No. And these guys know it. So I'll be in here looking at like any little cracks or anything. I mean, I'm not having I'm you spot, to my house. I'll tell I'm you that spot, right now. Spot clean. And this facility is going to be top notch. So we have tile, hardwood floor, excellent, excellent. bathrooms, dry saunas, so easy to child care for you. Everything. Yeah. That's right. So we'll be working our butts off, and we can't wait. Okay, but great. our trainers are awesome. Tony, yeah, you can no, talk I mean, about every, all the trainers that we have on staff. It's a, it's a minimum of 10 years experience each Excellent. one. That's so it, where it's not someone that just got their certification or their licensing and it, it, they decided they want to be a trainer. These are all trainers that have been in the industry for a good amount of time. Right. Um, we it's been a six month process to hire the instructors that we have, and and I believe I mean, we we have the best in the industry in this area. Absolutely. So you you believe experience in the health industry, uh, whether it's a trainer or a doctor or someone to get involved for dietary needs and, and health mentoring, you feel experience and years of experience is beneficial? Yes, absolutely. There's no question about it. I think uh, I think prevention is uh, are the, the most important aspect of healthcare. The preventive healthcare, I think we all strive for preventing problems, uh, preventing hospitalizations. For most physicians, it's not very hard to double your medication doses when it comes to hypertension, diabetes, and everything else. But I think what is the root of the problem is obesity, is combating obesity, preventing problems, and hopefully hospitalization. And I think having good trainers is the most important aspect. And uh, we all are 100% dedicated in that drive. So please start for drive health and fitness. <laughs> what a good salesman. We're going to have that on the bottom of the web, on the bottom of the interview anyways. But getting back to a paranormal note, um, and you guys touched on it. This is what I've been, you know, lecturing, you know, in the paranormal, you know, myself going to CC the Huntress, cctheHuntress.com, by the way, that's going to be on the bottom of the screen. I'm a good salesman too, yeah, girl. You have but to. When you go with the years of training that you want to see come into the gym to mentor people to take care of people and also the doctor too, Dr. Vaughn, to be able to do dietary needs, to check for obesity, to make sure people are on the right track. Years of experience is really what it needs. I mean, same thing in the paranormal industry and, and, and I'm sure you must agree with me that if you're going to have open heart surgery, let's just say that. Yep. Do you want someone with two to three years of experience right out of med school? You want someone that has years of experience that can discern the information, see all the variables. If something arises, it can save your life. Absolutely. Same thing in the paranormal industry. I think that people need experienced investigators that we can discern the paranormal as uh, professionals. Absolutely, yeah. You just yeah. don't want to jump to conclusions really Absolutely. quick and, and say that's an orb in a picture. Well, exactly. You know, you want to analyze it. You want to know from your pro professional right. expertise. You sure. want to and that takes take years a deeper of experience look. And too. sometimes I love taking it to third-party analysis too Absolutely. to have a video specialist who's even more advanced, who's right. been doing this for 30 plus years, who mm -hmm. can break this down. Why the spectrum of light is captured on this certain footage and try to right, get you, an explanation. You can break it down to the camera lenses, you can break it down to the film, you can break it down to everything. But again, we're breaking it down to years of experience. Exactly what you're doing right here with the gym, taking in people that have years of experience as trainers, as mentors, as dietitians. Dr. Vaughn, years of experience. Yep. You years of experience in the paranormal, me as well. I want to thank you very much. Thank and you so much. I wish you the greatest opening in the world. When's your anticipated opening date? So we're looking at um, uh, probably June coming up. We're looking at possibly a soft open in May 18th. We okay. might do a ribbon cutting with the mayor, uh, a oh, lot of excellent. press and stuff. Oh, cool. So we're very, very excited. Come back when we open. Oh, uh, I walk will. Walk through the facility. We're laying down the foundation on the cement right now, so we can't walk in there now on the floors. Right, I understand. Uh, but we're we're just super excited, man. We I can't wait to get in there and be able to work out in our own gym. We can do it. Now. <laughs> yeah, get it going. Yeah, we can do it right here. We'll start doing jumping jacks. You know. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Getting cold enough. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Tony, thank, thank you. you. Thank Doctor. you very much. <laughs>